short and sweet. Hi folks, today I want to show you lots of AI generated photos plus a couple of real photos. The reason for this is that we need to acquire detective skills in order to tell what's fake and what's real. Real, by the way, is a problematic term, but for this experiment we simply declare a photo taken with a lens as a real photograph. Is this a real photograph? How about this one? Can AI be that detailed? The old truck in a dirty garage. A 15th century painting of two people of honor. Three on a beach with fire. A hand at a charging station for electric cars, maybe in England. Drone shot of a town next to a river. Well, these three images are real photos and these ones are pure fiction. Now, let us open Pandora's box and pretend that we are detectives. The hand of a mummy in the British Museum. AI. Quite easy to detect. There is something wrong with the fingers. A typical AI flaw. Fingers. At least now in autumn 2024. The broom photo. Just lovely. Probably made for a furniture design store. No, it is AI. The right broom seems to be slightly misplaced. It does not lean at the wall, but otherwise a great photo. The two women behind bars, that's easy. The hands and the bars. This woman has a finger problem. The bearded man is a tough one. Maybe we can find a flaw in the pupils. They have slightly different sizes and makes him look cold. Even harder to detect any flaws in this maybe too clean image of a middle-aged woman. The black cat on a leash. I cannot point out anything wrong or irritating here, but I sure did create it with AI. The image of a cat with a water splash is a bit too slick. It could however be achieved with a real cat and a real camera. Would have cost at least a day to get this shot done. With AI it took a couple of seconds. Many AI portraits of people are too slick and too polished. Too clean. Like real portrait shots with a lot of Photoshop cleanup. Manual cleanup. For example, this couple on the beach. AI. The three generations family has finger problems, which we discover by looking at the hands closely. The woman in her sitting room. An amazing AI image, hard to dismantle. Maybe the wrinkles in her face are a bit too, well, symmetrical. Same with this couple. And a mess of fingers. Here we see no hands, maybe an irritation with his eyes. Three people in or next to a shower, an arm with two hands. Two women in a bathroom, let's have a close look at the hand. I showed you this image at the beginning, the hand looks slightly odd, but it is a real photograph. This golden shower has a flaw with two thin lines, which make no sense. Very delicate. The basement with two washing machines and maybe an old dryer. I cannot really find a flaw, but it is generated with AI. This image of a graveyard is as problematic. Maybe the grass is a bit too tidy. I cannot detect any problem in this AI image of an old house with a window. How about this black and white photo? Maybe the Mercedes is a retro design prototype and maybe the objects on the table are tools of some unknown kind. For me the image looks unreal because of the super clean face of the woman. This is the actress and singer Marlene Dietrich in Israel. No, not really. This is the real photograph. And this is the one made by AI, inspired by the real photograph. What do you think of this flashlight photo on the beach with some fire in the background? It looks very convincing, but it is AI. Maybe the missing footprints of the three people are a hint. 
The fruits in this aesthetically pleasing pack shot are not real, but maybe a French cook could do this. Is this sculpture of a loving couple really standing in a museum? No. It looks good, but there's something wrong with the feet. A 1961 bra in black and red on display. Pure AI imagination with no flaws at all. Two AI-generated illustrations of the city of Cologne in 1944, a year before the Second World War ended. The quality of the first one is maybe a bit too good, like a historic photograph enhanced with lots of AI tools. But it is pure AI imagination, like the second one. And here is an original. This is a real photograph. Let us visit a club with lots of young folks dancing the night away. The first one is typical for AI. Cold, almost sterile. But the two following images transport the energy of the club with loud music, young people and sweat. Beer and dirndl dresses in Bavaria. The size of the beer mug is odd. The letters on this glass are strange. AI has had problems with text since the beginning of this new phase of AI. Although we see improvements. Example, Canon, written almost properly. Almost. The photo studio. The letters on the camera. The zombie-like look of the woman. Munich Oktoberfest. Fingers. Certain kinds of images are very hard to classify. This one, for example, looks so realistic but a closer look at the houses reveals many flaws. This image is the contrary to the wide-angle drone perspective we've just seen. A close look at a handrail, probably in a commuter train, a tram or a tube. Is this real? Yes, this is a real photograph which I actually took the other day. But the following images are all AI. Fire, steam explosions are being handled very well by artificial intelligence. Sometime nature helps us, like in this beach fire image, to detect the AI. The grass in front is totally unrealistic. Let me wrap this up. AI creates stunning realistic images. We need to look at the fingers. The irritating and often cold look of people should make us suspicious. Photos were always delicate. For example, a hundred years ago, Stalin and Lenin removed people from photographs. That was a lot of manual work. Photoshop these days can create totally new lighting and sky situations with the help of AI. So nothing really can be trusted anymore. And with the avalanche of AI images and videos nowadays, we need to be even more skeptical. Have a nice day, folks.